What a way to start the day. A mess during the morning commute. Flooding shuts down a busy stretch of the Schuylkill Expressway. But for some, the rising waters were more than just a traffic headache. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. I'm Jessica Dean. We caught up with one driver who was stuck in those flood waters. I-76 was shut down for hours from Belmont to pass the 476 interchange as crews worked to drain the water and clear the debris. Greg Argos is live along the Schuylkill River near 30th Street Station. And Greg, you spoke with that stranded driver and also with PennDOT officials today. I did there, Jess, and those PennDOT officials say they have a reason why this flooding seemed more serious than usual. But first, that driver, imagine you were stuck in this water. One man drove right through it. What should have been a normal commute home to Maniunk. There was a lot of traffic, and I was behind a truck. And then all of a sudden, uh, the water was really deep. Turned into a terrifying overnight ordeal for Matthew Christopher. By the time I realized it, I was already in it. The pounding rain pouring onto the Schuylkill and stranding Christopher and dozens of other drivers. I was stuck there from, I'd say, a little before midnight to probably about 6 o'clock in the morning. After 1 a.m., uh, we had to close uh, 76 East, just past 476. Brad Rudolph with PennDOT says the more than 4.5 inches of rain which fell caused some unusual problems. Not only did the branches, dirt, and other muck clog drainage intakes, the actual underground pipe which helps remove rainwater also became blocked. It failed because it was clogged. It wasn't the inlet. Uh, we had to pump water across the westbound travel lanes. Monday morning, all lanes reopened around 10 a.m. By the afternoon, the shoulders still caked in brown mud, but traffic finally moving through. The fact that they uh, did get it cleared and were able to get us out of there, I'm very grateful for that. And Christopher says he hopes he'll never get into another situation like this again. I think one of the mistakes that I made was I didn't check the weather beforehand, period. Now, despite the dozen stranded this morning, the good news this afternoon, there were no injuries. I'm live here along with Google Greg Argos, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.